Good morning, my lovely people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, whereby you always get educational bangers. And let me start by thanking you people for the appreciation of the work I'm doing. This shows my education is helping somebody somewhere in the community. And for those who are bringing out their topics and they have not been discussed, don't be dis discouraged. Just be patient with me and your topic is going to be discussed in due time. For the returning subscribers, I always thank you because it's all because of your effort that I'm able to produce more and more videos because without you, we could not be where we are at the moment and the success of this channel uh, majorly depends on you. So let's continue subscribing, liking and sharing. And if you are there watching this video for the first time, just take a second or two, uh, hit the subscription button and make sure you put the notification bell on so that whenever I produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you and you will never miss any of our videos. Let's get back to our topic whereby we will be discussing about breast development after hormonal therapy or hormonal treatment. Breast development after hormone treatment. Development of the breast also varies for those going through gender transition. This is very important that development of the breast also varies for those going through gender transition. It happens gradually, so if you are undergoing transition, don't expect an immediate change. Development of the breast also varies for those undergoing or going through gender transition. It happens gradually, so you are not you are going and if you are done going transition don't expect an immediate change let me repeat this again development of the breast also varies for for those who are going through gender transition it happens gradually so if you are undergoing transition don't expect an immediate change so if the change is gradual it doesn't happen uh, just like that or it doesn't happen so fast it's gradual gradual means step by step step by step so it usually takes years to fully develop breast through hormone treatment so when you are using a hormonal therapy or a hormonal treatment for the development of your breast it can take years. That's why we are saying the change is gradual. And it, is, it might take some time for you to realize that the breasts are growing. So don't expect an immediate change. It usually takes years to fully develop breasts through hormone treatment. Your breasts may, may be uneven during development and even after they are fully developed. Uneven means they won't be the same size. You might find one of the breasts is bigger than the other and this is not a health condition. It's always normal. And in 99% of the ladies, you'll find that both breasts are not the same size. They vary. Or there is a variance in the size of the breasts, which is very normal. It's not a health condition. So. Your breasts may be uneven during development and even after they are fully developed. This is completely normal for any woman. As I have said, it's normal. So this is completely normal for any woman. Note that you should not try taking more estrogen than prescribed to make sure your breast development go faster. We say that when the estrogen is produced in the uh, ovaries. It stimulates fat in the breasts, which makes the breast larger. So it doesn't mean that when you take 
more estrogen than prescribed when you are using the hormone treatment. When you take more estrogen than prescribed to make your breast development go faster, it's not always advisable. Just go as per the prescription because we have said that the development is gradual and it can take years for the breast to grow. So, more estrogen won't increase development and can be extremely dangerous for your health. I think you get that very clearly that more estrogen won't increase development and can be extremely dangerous for your health. So don't go to extremes. Just go following the prescription or the doctor's instructions. More research. More research is needed for breast cancer in transgender women. More research is needed for breast cancer in transgender women or women using hormone therapy for the development of their breasts. So, more estrogen won't increase development and can be extremely dangerous for your health. More research is needed for breast cancer in transgender women. So, it is ne we need to determine whether using the hormone treatment for the development of the breast we, we, we need a research to find out if this or the hormone therapy can lead to cancer. So, more research is needed for breast cancer in transgender women. However, it's important that you follow recommended guidelines for all women when it comes to your breast health and breast cancer. More research is needed for breast cancer in transgender women. However, it's important that you follow recommended guidelines for all women when it comes to your breast health and breast cancer. Talk to your doctor about the best ways to screen for breast cancer. Talk to your doctor about the best ways to screen for breast cancer. What you know after breast development. You have passed all these stages. Your breast has developed. So what should you know after breast development? This is very important. What to know after breast development? Be it natural or be it by use of hormone treatment or hormonal therapy. After your breast develop, they are now developed. After your breast develop, start performing regular breast self examinations. After your breast develop, start performing regular breast self examinations. Ask medical professional the proper way to check your breasts. Ask medical professional the proper way to check your breasts but it's simple and can be done in a few minutes at home after your breast develop start performing regular breast self examinations ask medical professional the proper way to check your breasts but it's simple and can be done in a few minutes at home. Regular self-care and breast examinations help you become familiar with your breasts. So it will be easier to notice any changes which should be discussed with the doctor. This is very important, ladies, that Regular self-care breast examinations help you become familiar with your breast, so it will be easier to notice any changes which should be discussed with your doctor. So if there is any, if you are used to the self-breast examinations, you will know how your breast feels during your menstrual cycle because at that time or at that period, 
So many changes happen to your breasts, including have some breast lumps. So you will be able, depending on the time frame, to detect any abnormality in your breast because you know how it feels when it is normal, you know how it feels during your menstrual cycles. So that's why we are saying regular self-care and breast examination help you become familiar with your breasts so it will be easier to notice any changes which should be discussed with your doctor. So if you detect any change, discuss with your doctor earlier enough. Caring for your breasts once developed is important and can help avoid some of the pain that might cause wearing a bra that it might cause sorry. Caring for your breasts once developed is important and can help avoid some of the pain that might cause that it might cause. Caring for your caring for your breasts once developed is important and can help avoid some of the pain it, that might cause. Wearing a bra gives you a so wearing this is very important. Wearing a bra gives your breast support and comfort. Wearing a bra gives your breast support and comfort. If you run or participate in sports, you may want to wear a sports bra to give them an extra support and help avoid injury and discomfort. Wearing a bra gives your breast support and comfort. If you run or participate in sports, you may want to wear a bra to give them an extra support and help avoid injury and discomfort. This marks the end of our video today. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for tuning in. For the subscribers, continue encouraging your brothers and sisters to support this channel so that we may continue giving you education of bangers each and every day. So let's have a wonderful day and be blessed. Let's keep peace.